Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback to the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift. And if you, uh, if you feel like the video gives good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath that may be needing that spiritual guidance or confirmation validation towards life path or even soul purposes please go ahead and share while you're at it give your girl a thumbs up like and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit as always thank you so much for the love and support truly appreciate it and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all as i said on my last video i'm doing a new format so hopefully this will you know be better quality um than the other ones that I've been doing because it's just like I'm like oh my energy and my vibes keep collecting you know just keep clashing with my videos so I said I try a different format and hopefully this will be better um the video I'm about to do right now is called twin flame 101 remember it's a test in all forms sometimes your silence is the best response that's true now everything needs your 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 input on it. Your I mean, as long as it's in your mental note, it's like okay, I got that. He's like, Roz, you ain't got anything to say. No, I got no input. I'm good. You know, not everything needs your your response to it. You know, um, your tests come in all forms. Whether you know if you're you you're a type of person that hates being in traffic. You know, it, it's like God knows what he wants you in complete alignment with and he wants you to get rid of all weaknesses you have possible and a lot of times you know we even scare ourselves and find out our weaknesses become stronger than the strengths we already have you know if you're that type of person don't believe in yourself universe will place you in different situations where you will have no choice but to believe in yourself and you will be very aggressive about it if you're always used to playing second to your own life and always putting everybody else's you know lives uh in front of you you know on different things then he's going to put you in situations where he's like hey you got to put yourself a priority and a lot of times it that is just like ripping nails for us it's very painful when we have to say no it's very painful for us to be solid in our boundaries you know um and being able to not answer the phone all the time not sit up here responding to texts all the time emails and stuff like that when there's, there's times where you feel overwhelmed they want you to be able to take that time out for yourself there'll be a lot of times that you know that i've told people hey you know hit me up if you have anything that you're going through but also I put put it with people also keep it in mind that I'm also going through things too so if I don't get right back to you I may be going through something at that time and I want to make sure that um, I'm going through uh, different situations and I'm clearing myself so I can finally allow myself to be in in that vibe where I can really help you I don't want to you know help you and I'm overwhelmed you know I got a lot of things on my mind and that type of vibe will be more harm than good to you I tell people that a lot and um, different things take place in your life that will you know give you that ultimate test you know being able to be comfortable with saying no do things because you want to not because you're obligated God will put you in different situations where people will always count on you to do things and then when the truth is you know when the shoe is on the other foot they they will oh I can't do it right now I'm sorry I got to do this you know there's people out there that will inconvenience you all the time and expect you to to be accommodating towards them when they're not is not being reciprocated they're telling you you know you'll be in different situations where you you always put your happiness on the back burner to you know make anybody happy and it's just at the the time we have to be able to understand it ain't the time it's all the time you have to understand your happiness is based on you you know a lot of times I've seen it I had to deal with it in my life growing up where that that was you know people always did that through other people your happiness based on you nobody can make you happy you know even if somebody's there that gives you you know the world and if you're not happy that is not going to be suffice for you that that is just not going to be satisfying for you is always that person is only always going to have to constantly work hard and that's going to be you know that's going to be crippling you 
because the fact is it's just like if you're in a, in a relationship it has to be it's not a two for one special it has to be you know you have to be happy you want to be able to give your your partner your mate whatever your husband your wife your boyfriend your girlfriend you know you want to be able to make them happy as you're making yourself happy you know being able to have your own boundaries you know um being in a situation where you know a lot of times we're we're in you know toxic relationships or relationships that fail and a lot of times we can sit up here and say I wish I never met that person. I've been there, you know, I've been there and done that. But those are tests. You had to go through those life lessons and being able to say, never say that. Because that that was a blessing in the, in the skies about that life lesson that you had to go through with that person. Whether it was a cheat or it was a person that was a pathological liar or they don't slept with, slept with somebody else or different things like that. You, these relationships is something that you needed you know a lot of times we can be in situations where we constantly you know this type of person I, I tell people real quick I got trust issues I don't let I barely let anybody close to me just because of the situation I went through it's hard for me to let people in you know regardless of people like Ross and I'm I, I, I don't care <laughs> you know I'm like I'm, I, I don't even trust me in half of the time and I know I need to be solid with trust with myself then you be a whole hot mess of trouble but there's a lot of different things that God will put you in whereas either you're you're gonna have to be solid with your boundaries because you, know, you, you don't want people constantly railroading over you you have to be able to say no I can't do it right now or I got so much stuff going on let me get back to you or just you know you a lot of times you don't even have to respond at all you know it's like I got something going on. If I tell people, hey, if I don't respond to you right away, I got stuff going on. Respect that. You know? And you have to be able to go with it. If there's somebody who's blasting or whatever and get mad because you ain't responded to them yet, then you have to be able to like, hey, you know, I already put that in, you know, or I'm being, you know, they may not have got the memo. It's like, hey, you know, I got something going on right now, but as soon as I finish, I'm going to come back to you. And if they still have an attitude that let you know, they don't like boundaries. You know, and God will intentionally do that. I've had different situations where people are like, oh, I want to get to know you. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about There are certain things I won't talk about. You know, and I'm very selective about that. And as soon as you cop an attitude about that, they already let me know you are in some form of mind of manipulation. Chink! I was glad that you did that. And, you know, and I had to be, and I was appreciating that. And, you know, and it's always telling you to go with your gut. Because there's a lot of times we go off of people's people's words you got to go by them actions the actions that have the energy behind it you know oh you know don't don't listen to your gut i'm not like this and i'm like that and god will purposely bring them into your life that was another test they're bringing you into your life just to you know manipulate you and do all the worst to you just to see if you're going to point that out or there'll be different times where they're telling you hey it's time to cut ties with certain things into your life don't you know don't fall back you know and there's a lot of times we can go back in different situations you know um because that was something that we're used to and it don't have to be just in relationships with connections with people but it could be something that we see as a safe zone you know playing small being quiet you know making sure that we don't offend anybody just by our opinion and what we're going through especially if you're not that you know that person that's trying to be disrespectful but if somebody asks you your opinion and you should be able to be solid with that don't you know just because I'm that type of person you ain't got to always agree with things I say you don't have to agree with anything I say you know if you don't get it like oh I just don't get it okay you know it, it, this situation may not be for you and it's not saying that just you know to be able to cut that person down but it's just like this message may not be for you if you don't get it you don't understand it or there'll be different people to try to pull your chain it's just like oh you click biting i was like man i've been called a lot of things but click baking ain't one of it it was just the, this situation wasn't for you to understand it wasn't for you because there's a lot of times I'll click on something. I'm like, oh, that wasn't for me. And just go away. And still, you know, it'll be a channel. I'll just still push a thumbs up. But it wasn't for me. And I'm not going to take it to heart. I won't take it anything, you know, take it personal. You know, and those different things. But it's just like, there's a lot of things that just needs your observance. There's a lot of things that you don't even have to respond to. You know, silence is the best response to a lot of things. Now, it's different if you're in school or you got a boss and they're asking you certain things. And, you know, you have no choice but to sit up here and say, to say something when they're asking you a question. But if it's something where you see somebody's, you know, trying to trigger or trying to be, you know, active because they, they feel in some type of way about you, allow them to have that. Let them entertain themselves. Put it that way. You entertain yourself 
by allowing yourself to continue to do what you're doing. Be consistent about what you're doing. You take note about what that person is doing or what that situation is trying to show you and allow you, oh, mental note, go ahead and go. You know, because you're knowing, you know what your weaknesses were. You know, if you had triggers, you know what those triggers are. And universe is like, they're really working with you. You know, really working with you. You know, a lot of times you, you may be asking for your prayers to be answered. They're ask, they're they're basically answering it through the test that they're constantly giving you. And those are the things that you have to be very aware of. It's like when you've gone through an intense purge, clearing, forgiveness, and forgiving of yourself, forgiving yourself of situations that you may have allowed yourself to hold on to, you know, letting go, acceptance, all these different things. You're going to start seeing everything as a sign. You know, nothing's by coincidence, nothing's by accidents, and they want you to be able, I say accidents, accident, you know, by those different things into your life. Being able to understand it, you know, everything that comes into your life is a benefit, but it's up to us to choose to see it as a benefit. Like, oh, this is working my nerves, and this and this and that, and I had to be able to tell myself, it can't work on your nerves unless you allow it. Oh, that person's pissing me off. It can't piss me off if I don't allow it, you know. A lot of times you got to laugh at certain things just to be able to respond. And, not, and I'm not talking about laughing in a person's face. You know, you're, you're, you're actually bringing an emotion, you know. But just allow yourself. Just like, <laughs> there it goes again. And, you know, and just allow yourself to keep going. You don't have to do it in front of the people that are acting. You know, you can just look and be like, okay. You know, and just keep it going. And that's a good thing because you're allowing yourself to say, you know, seeing the change that take place. Because a lot of times we get agitated by certain situations because we want, you know, a, a certain time period to be out of a certain time period. And then it's like nothing's changed. Actually, yeah, it is. It's, it has changed you a lot, you know. And you're you're noticing how you tend to, to you know, different things that you choose to do. That's that's where, you know, universe, as soon as I said that, that, that was like, ooh, good subject. You know, what you used to choose to do. If you were the type of person, like with me, I used to, you know, be a functional, you know, marijuana smoker. You know, and I, I would get on it every once in a while, you know, uh, after it was like two or three years. And it was just like I really hit another tragedy. And then I fell back off the wagon. And then I started doing it again for a few months and then cut it out. I haven't had none in over a year, over a year and a half. I think, you know, probably almost close to two years now if I really want to think about it. But I haven't had that urge or anything to really do that and it is just like just to think about it you know it's just like that how long has it been and when it has to be like that and it's not really trying to you know it wasn't something that is on my mind like it was before when I first started this journey and then it's like now it's like people are like you judging I'm like no I ain't judging it's just whatever is for you is not for me you know and I don't have no right to judge nobody my God you know and then, you know, and that was a lot of things that when I used to talk one on one with a lot of people and they had situations, the main thing they said, even with, before I started doing this, you know, there was a lot of people that would come talk to me about things and they say, I love that about you because you never make me feel, ju you never be judgmental about things. I can honestly come to you and it may be embarrassing to me. I'm like, shoot. And just to make you feel comfortable, I say, you know what? I've had moments where I've, I've been in some not so fine moments of myself. You know, I've been there where, you know, I used to be a sloppy drunk, you know, or I'd be a, a sloppy, you know, opiate abuser. I was there. I have no problem with telling somebody that because the fact is I'm not that person anymore. And I allowed myself to change. I used to worry about what people thought or if they find out this about me or they find out that they're going to judge me. I put my dirt out on myself. You can't sit up here and profit off of anything if I don't sit up here and hold it myself. You know, I told, I used to tell people, oh, you may find a mugshot here or there. You know, me, you know, I'm like, oh, crying and jump like that. But at least I'm saying I have no problem with telling people it's not about me just blurting out my business. But that's the part of me where that's where I'm on my journey at. There's so many people here that feel judged because of the fact is the things that they used to do from our past. You and I always tell people never feel shameful of the things you do, whether you had to be a woman of the night, a man of the night. Or, you know, used to shoplift, you used to be on very harshful drugs, anything like that. And you know you are a totally different person today just because of those situations. That was your purpose. You know, whatever you went through, the harshness of your life, there are so many people I hold hard regards for, hard respect, hard, high regards, and high 
respects. That's what I meant to say. Of them being honest. And they even showed like different pictures of them looking night and day. It was this guy from, I think he was uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. And he was a mentor. And he was, uh, I think he was on some real hard stuff. I'm not, you know, getting into anything. But you already can imagine what hard stuff is. And, you know, he, he had different, you know, his complexion was very out, out of, you know out of control because of the things he was doing and you can just tell that he wasn't there you can tell he was very lost and you know we go through that pain you know empaths we do that you know and i tell people you are blessed when if you have never had any kind of of of, of a medical what what is it self-medicated uh abusing you know any kind of addictions in that you know automatically people think it's like a drug or a pill no it can be eating disorders self-harm suicidal tendencies you know different things like that manic depressive those are addictions because we we you know not manic depressive but you know that that's label of going through different harshness of trauma where it can leave a label of that that's what i meant to say but you know addictions can be self-harm you know eating disorders you know and different things like that because that's how we deal with anxiety that's how we deal with pain um on different things with us being empathic beings you know and it's just when you can be honest about that with yourself you're not going to worry about what other people say because it's like I always used to tell myself you bring one person in this in this situation where they are squeaky clean they have never did nothing they never you know they they don't have nothing of their past to squeaky clean then they can judge me but there's a lot of people that have judgment on your life and they don't even have their whole life they don't even have their own life figured out and this is where they're putting you as that test you or what your opinions about you is what really matters if you know you're pulling yourself together you're representing yourself and you're your own representation you know and we all have a path of what we choose to do and what we're trying to do with our lives you know what you're trying to bring into your life that's going to be very worthwhile if god and universe places that intention into your head what could be into your life that is showing you this is your pre preparation is this is your goal you know your your you know your board you know your vision board this is your vision board when when you're allowing yourself to move forward and use that vision board to create that reality this is your test to be able to go through that because they want you to know this is your reward but you had to go through these series of tests to get to that reward and you have to be able to go through that your patience you know i i can't stand patience <laughs> you know i said i'm not i do not like patience whatsoever it's like all my signs that i got you know it it don't you know and i'm not saying about everybody else is just with me individuals may vary you know i just don't like you know i don't like changes challenges and i don't like patience those are the you know pccs i just don't like you know but i had to grow to like that because it's like a lot of times if we try to speed up process because we don't like that test we can really foobar something up in our lives as opposed to last and it'll be overnight there's a lot of times you have seen people that have gotten really famous and they might have misinterpreted things or something may have been very tragic that happened and they say, you know, you don't hear about them over, you know, you don't hear about them again. They, you know, how people say, oh, they were overnight. And it's not, you know, any kind of disrespect for that, but that's just using an example. Just because we may have speeded up a process and we wanted things and we may have manipulated certain things instead of letting universe and God allow things to hold into that process because they always say it takes time and usually it does most likely it does there's sometimes you can be really blessed and you you know you get your situation overnight and those are the things that you were like you weren't even you know prepared for or whatever but then there are some people you know like me you know it takes a long drawn out process. You don't know, you know, when you're, when you're allowing yourself, are you putting all in your effort to do things? Have, you know, when different things came up, have you just backed away because it became too hard? Or, you know, if you going through different things in your life where, you know, you're so used to doing things in a certain way, they know it takes a minute and, you know, your aggressiveness to really pull yourself into a new routine on how to do things in a different way, but very productive. And they know that. And that's the reason why they say trust the process. It's not going to happen overnight. We know you're so used to doing different things. You, if you're the type of person that say, you know, like I do here, you're going to do videos, you're going to do podcasts, you're going to do this. So, you know, I, you know, I'm even in myself. I haven't done my podcast in a minute and I need to get back on that. 
you know um but going through all my different changes i had to be able to take a pause for a minute and i have no problem with saying that you know it wasn't the bad fact of you know whatever whatever you know but it was just that point i had to take that pause for a minute and you know i used to be that type of person you know oh i don't want my enemies to think this i don't want my enemies to think that and it's like there once again you're allowing yourself to stay focused on something and someone is not even you know that's not even a point that was the test you know you had to be able to allow yourself just like you know if you need a rest rest don't worry about what other people think because they don't you can be doing good and they'll always have something negative to say about you they always have something negative attached to you even when you're the most productive person it's always like that when people don't like the fact that you challenging something they choose to deny they're going to always see it as you being a problem you have to understand that and these are the things that's coming into your life is being very productive is showing you how to be productive in your life if you know you want these things in your life you have to really work hard for it you have to really go hard for it and then when you're allowing yourself to not play safe anymore you know and be in your line of comfort then you start exploring these new different things and risk you know risk taking then like don't be risky and when you risking and gambling everything you mess up but just when they're telling you hey you know take that leap of faith and do this take this leap of faith and do that and they want you to be able to allow yourself to really get forward in doing that and it's just like okay I, mean, I need to go ahead and do that and process that but allow yourself to know everything is a test you know, whether it's somebody's coming out of pocket on you or coming out of face with you, allow yourself to observe what's taking place before you respond. You know, a lot of times, you know, we can get in our pride in a way like, I ain't going to let nobody punk me. I ain't going to let nobody do that. A lot of times, let that person be in that mess by themselves. You know, allow yourself. I'm like, mm. You know, there's plenty of times I said, Lord, I'm not trying to catch a charge today. I ain't trying to scalp nobody. Let me allow myself to just walk off. You know, because I've, I've been around different things where I've been triggered. And I'm just like, you already know yourself. You already know how you get when people just underestimate you. Don't put yourself in that situation. Keep moving, going forward. You know, stage left even. You know, stage right, even though you're moving to the left. Just keep going that way. And allow yourself to know everything is a test. Just observe. Not everything needs your reaction. And don't need your reaction anyway. Unless it's something that's a blessing. Then you're like, oh my God. You needed that blessing in your life, and that's an okay response to sit up here and react to. But if there's anything negative that's trying to put you out of your balance, allow yourself to use that as that that practice thing. Like I'm not gonna allow this. To, is that an investment or is that a major setback? Two choices. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Black Marshmallow. Uh, Wildflower Storm, much love to you, Mighty Robs, as always. I'm Sylvia uh, Hagberg. Hag much love to you as well. And you will see me on my next video. Y'all, I'm going to try to do uh, my my live chat at 7.45 today. I'm going ahead, like I said, I'm using a whole new different format. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and post for this, you know, in a few, just to let you know if I'm decide to have it. And I'll see you on my next video. Whatever you've been working hard on to manifestate, manifestation, Manif manifest into your life. Knowing it's going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. And even when, when you guesstimate it, it's going to come at least when you least expect it. So don't give up. Allow yourself to know, you know, there's rewards for every test that you go through. So don't give up. You know, God and universities, all the things that you're doing and knowing, even though it may feel like they're not recognized or trust, there's things going on in the back scenes that you may not have been aware of. Where, where about? Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, rise, frequencies. You never know. All those things to really take somebody a long way. Much love and respect to Kobe and Gianna Bryant and plus the seven others uh, that had passed away two years ago on a plane crash. Much love to everybody who's been affected to that as well. And I will see you. You will see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.